How many pounds to the gill does a seven rod boat get? D uh, metric much? Hey people, I'm Trace and this is D News. Americans have a love-hate relationship with our system of measurement. We hate it, but we don't want to follow them foreign countries' metric systems. The problem is, how big is an acre? What is a furlong? How much is a frickin' gill? And what the crap is a dram? This, this is stupid. They're laughing at us out there. Units of measurement of some kind are required for a lot of human interaction. And at first, we used things that were, you know, at hand. <laughs> Literally. At, maybe we, you know, wanted something at arm's length. Do you, okay, look, seriously. We used our own body parts. Get it? A foot was a foot. A hand was a hand. And we based stuff off of that. An acre was the amount of land a man could work in a day. In the late 1700s, France had this new system that was based on the number 10, the metric system. The metric system was created to standardize France's system of measurement, and when Napoleon took over much of Europe in the early 1800s, France spread their system to others. In America, however, well, we had other ideas. Long story short, eventually we wanted to actually, you know, trade with other countries. And thus, in 1866, Congress signed an act agreeing to recognize the metric system and the International Bureau of Weights and Measures as the global authority on all units. Ready for the mind blower? That includes our units, the foot, the gallon, whatever else. They are all based on metric and have been since 1866. Our government defines a mile as 1.609344 kilometers, not the other way around. Why don't we convert to metric then? Because we've been using it for 140 years. Well, we tried. President Gerald Ford signed the Metric Conversion Act in 1975, but it made the conversion voluntary. Last year, an online petition to the White House received a response from the Undersecretary of Commerce for Standards and Technology stating that we as Americans can choose to live our lives as metric, essentially living as a bilingual family, using Celsius at home and Fahrenheit at school and work. That's dumb. We need a metric conversion standard. Industry, science, business, exports, all the things you hear about is important to the future of our country and our economy. They're all metric already. Metric versus U.S. standard is something we deal with constantly here on DNews. We hear you, rest of world. We know you like metric, and I am on your side personally, but I'm just a YouTube host. I can only do so much. So what do you think, guys? Should we convert here in America? Why? Why not? Tell us, and we'll be seeing you in a couple of metric hours back here on DNews.